Good day. This is a professor, C.B. Humding, Ph.D. And today is Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. It is 7.13 and 10 seconds, p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And today's research, neutron waves. So let's come to it here. A twist for control of orbital angular momentum of neutron waves. Date September 24, 2015. Source, University of Waterloo. The scientific investigators and researchers say an experiment shows for the first time that a wave property of neutrons, orbital angular momentum, can be controlled. And this newfound control of neutron, orbital angular momentum states, means that researchers can now use neutron, orbital angular momentum beams to see inside materials and optical x-rays or electron orbital angular momentum beams can penetrate. And this control can help measure the magnetism, for example, in magnetic materials, as well as deeper probes, the superconducting, and chiral materials. Neutrons are the probe of choice for many materials. Researchers use neutrons to learn more about material properties, such as crystalline structure or magnetic signature. Neutrons are massive, penetrating at neutral particles, and they also exhibit Wavelength properties. Orbital angular momentum is associated with the rotation of an object around a fixed axis. For example, the orbital angular momentum of a planet around the sun is related to the distance of the planet to the sun and its speed. Control of orbital angular momentum has already been showing using different methods for beams of optical light, X-rays, and electrons. Although there is never more than one neutron, in the interferometer, at any given time, the neutron can be thought of as a pulse of waves. The neutron waves mean a plate of silicon that break into sub-beams. One of those beams that hits a spiral phase plate, which impresses a twist on the neutron beam, giving a different orbital angular momentum to the waves taking that path than the waves taking the other path. The twist quantizes or entangles the path. The sun beams and strike a second silicon blade that directs the two beams to the same spot on the third blade before the two sub beams merge and interfere with each other. At the third blade, a phase flag fine tunes the phase of the neutron sub beams. Finally, the interference pattern is recorded at the third blade in a two dimensional detector to confirm that the extra orbital angular momentum has been controllably imparted. In principle, they show that they can change. The orbital angular momentum by any specified value. They can now study these materials as spiral structures, such as DNA without being limited by the degrees of freedom for neutron based studies. A new control over orbital angular momentum states enables neutrons to now probe the helicity of materials, including liquid crystals, helical magnetic ordering, and topological materials. A particularly exciting opportunity is to combine the quantum control of neutrons of the study, and engineering of quantum materials. And this is a professor, professor of advanced physics, mathematics, computer science, and leader of research. This video was created for educational purposes only. Hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time, have a great day.